252nd day, the 36th Lord's Day, the second decade in the 21st century. How often do you work out? Oops, I didn't clearly state that my question deals with your spiritual body workout. I know this subject can be troublesome for some because of your trials with a physical body workout, but bear with me. Most, most things require use, positive, sustaining activity. This includes your physical body, your automobile, and your spiritual body. When there's limited positive activity, <coughs> depreciation occurs at a faster rate. Yesterday, I saw a number of individuals in LA Fitness who voluntarily chose and paid for an opportunity to use the facility's instructors, facility, and the equipment. I said to myself, self, these persons are pursuing their physical fitness goals without regard to what others may say about them, their financial status or difficulties, competing pressures for their time, the temptation of sleeping in. Generally, I witnessed and was inspired being in the company of individuals who obviously had set priorities and maintained them. Similarly, our spiritual body needs and desires a daily workout, particularly our faith and our tongue. The most important consideration for an effective workout is the place where it's accomplished. The only official and ordained spiritual workout place is a Bible-believing, Holy Spirit-filled and led church. When we obediently and perpetually go to his church, and as in Matthew 6.35, seek him first, all things will be added. Make workout in his church a priority. I'm fit and I determine not to stop. By his grace, I'm going to the tippy top. Jesus is the rock. Lord have mercy, Dr. Alvin White Jr.